Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and pray to me and I will listen to you and you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And this here is my mother who was in the Navy and she was a nurse at Pearl Harbor. My mother died of cancer when she was 52. I was devastated because we went to her for everything. I was 21 and I had two babies and when she went home to be with the Lord, I just couldn't believe that he would allow her to die, but he took that and turned it around for me for his glory also because he used that to bring me into a relationship with him that was so intimate and close that I never would have had if I would have had her here all these years. Then I find out I had cancer. I ended up with a rare form of cancer that was found by accident by another doctor. My oncologist told me that when I went to see him, I'm sorry, we're not, you're not curable, and you probably have five years to live. And so I looked at him and I was shocked, and then I said, but then I turned right around and I just said, you know what? I said, only my Lord knows when I'm gonna go home. So I went home and I just, I cried and I ended up writing each one of my children letters in case I didn't make it. And that was, that was hard. That was so hard because I thought, Lord, I'm ready to see you, but I hate to leave my kids. Even the cancer, I think I knew where I was going if something happened, but when my husband decided to leave me, I was, I thought, how am I gonna make it? He, he was devastated when we were told I had cancer. And he even told his dad, he was, you know, he was very, very emotional and he said, I don't know what I'll do if I lose her. I was just, I was so lonely. I mean, I was alone. And um, I thought I need something. So I looked around for a Bible study and I decided I'm going to North Park. And I actually went to church on Sunday and found out they were just starting women's Bible study on Tuesday, so I went. And when I went there, I ended up in the most amazing group of women, that first Bible study. They just came around me and they were so loving and so supportive. And they just, and we are still very good friends to this day. And they just walked me through this journey. They were there for me for everything. God's so good because he ended up giving me the top liver transplant surgeon in the country. They had to remove 60% um, of my liver and several other organs to try and remove as much cancer as they could. Last October, um, first I had gone to a Beth Moore conference with our women's group. And she had said that she really felt that weekend that God was going to heal us, heal people. So on Saturday, the girls and I had prayed in our room, Lord, please don't let us miss anything that you have for us. Well, my sister and my girlfriend were bawling. The Lord had touched them in such an awesome way. And I just sat there and I thought, God, I don't feel anything. What's happened? What did I miss? And then I was very quiet before the Lord and I felt him say, Kathy, I've healed you, now walk in it. So I felt like he healed my heart because my heart was so broken. And I went home and I was very excited thinking, okay, he's healing my heart. And I went to my doctor on Monday and I'd already had a CT scan. So when I went to him, he uh, looked at me and he said, you look great. I said, well, I feel great. And he said, sat down and he started going over the scan with me and he said the lesions that are in your liver they're now calling them cysts and your lungs are clear except for a little scarring and the lesions that were on your bones I believe they're bone islands and I looked at him and I said I'm a miracle aren't I <laughs> and he just looked at me and he said well, I would just say that you had a very rare form of cancer and that you, and we did very aggressive treatment on you and now you're in total remission. And I guess I'd have to say you're cured. And I jumped down from that table and I said, I am a miracle. My God has healed me. 
I could see this joy coming in over him. And he looked at me and he said, the joy in your face is amazing. He shook my hand. He said, I want you to go live your life. And I walked out of there and I was so excited and I just prayed and I asked the Lord to touch him and my, that other doctor that I know. And I said, use this God to touch their lives. Um, and, and I'm just, I keep praying and I'm believing God's going to do that. So I left him with that and I continue to witness to him every time I went in to see him. And he would see, he said, you are amazing. And he said, you're healing well. And it's your positive attitude. And I had to continue to reinforce, it's the Lord. <laughs> I really feel like God's using this that I have gone through to ch touch so many people's lives to see that he's the almighty one and the glory is going to be given to him. I'm healed. I'm Kathy Fox and that's my story. Now what's your story? <laughs>